Hey guys, and welcome back to this war of mine. We have... Well, we were about to go back to Sniper Junction, but unfortunately there's fighting going on at the moment, so we can't go to many of these places, so we need to choose somewhere else to go. We've got a small apartment building, but we need lockpicks to steal from people. We've got a hotel with a guy who wants to trade. We've got the hospital, which will have meds, etc. It says lots of food as well. They've only got some food. They've got huge amounts of food. The quiet house is probably pointless to go to. The abandoned cottage we stripped. Um, City hospital, lots of food. Huge amounts of food. Some food or huge amounts of food. Someone moved in there recently spreading news that he's willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to his possible trade and caution advised. See, I need lockpicks, and I don't have any. I might go on this one. I'll get you a guard, and you a guard, and you can sleep in a bed, that's right. Okay, let's go to the hotel. What we want to take, we want to take the hatchet just in case things go wrong, and the helmet as well, like we generally do whenever we go to a place for the first time. So let's get down to it. Once noble and bright, now a shadow, it's former self like us, indeed. Alright, let's grab all of that. Let's have a look through here. Okay, there's no one in there, let's open the door. Ah, and there's nothing to steal either. There's a dude there. Let's wait. Let's see how much I can rob before I actually start conversing with him. Oh. Okay, he's heading up the second flight. Oh, is that another person? Is that a rat? Oh, there's people all over this place. Hmm. Oh, gun parts. Let's just grab all of that for now. Let's have a little peek through here. Doesn't look like anyone. Can we get in? Yes, the door's unlocked. Okay, we need to pay close attention to these footsteps. If we see any on the other side of the door, we might want to dive into the hiding hole. And decent, not really. We can fill up on the extra components. I missed what that guy was saying there. No one in there, nope. Open the door and close it again. Right, let's look. Oh, some parts and some tobacco leaves. I'm going to leave the roll-ups. Because our buddies just f fucking use all of the roll-ups. Let us head through here and we'll see if we can get an exit. Okay. Yep, there's definitely an exit there, so worst comes to the worst, we can just sprint for it. Seems to be a guy waiting there. Let's see. Okay, there's a guy there. A bit windy in it. It looks like all the people are there. That's the fridge though. That's the main thing that we want to steal from. Ooh, more gun parts. Nice. More actual parts and more fertilizer. That is really nice. Let's head back up the stairs. Oh, there's lots of fucking rooms in this place. Oh, will we be safe to go up these stairs though, or will someone notice us? I don't think anyone will notice us down there. Okay, that guy's reading a book or something. We need to also be very cautious of the time because we are taking a while to go around this place. Uh, that's just lots of wood, I'm not too bothered about wood right now. The hatchets allowed us to get a decent supply of our own wood. 
Right, nothing in this bathroom. So long here, anything. Can you jump when make too much noise? Yes, you can. Good job, Pav. Want some more stuff? We're not actually stealing anything, so it's not saying it's private property. So that's good. Oh, we didn't bring our thing to cut through that. Okay, there's some more parts, etc. there. Right, okay, now we've pretty much robbed the place. We'll go and see if they want to barter. Okay, Pav, just you make noise, bro. Just you make noise. So there's an exit right there, so why don't we pop this door open? Oh, no man, let's not pop that door open. Well, it does seem like if we get into a fight, then we can leg it pretty pretty well. Hello. Wanna trade? Go to the first floor. I'm on the first floor. How's it going, bud? Yeah, you've got lots of stuff to fucking steal. They do have weapon parts, which is interesting. Um. <laughs> I don't actually have anything I want to trade with you. I hope you'll change your mind. I hope I change my mind as well, mate. You guys getting worth stealing? Am I allowed to be around here or do you just frown upon that? Ah. Uh. That's locked. Oh, she's got a gun out. Okay, I'm not messing with that. She's got a fucking gun out. Okay, Pav, you might want to run to the exit just so we can get out of here in time. Whoa! I haven't taken anything, you dumb fucking bitch. Jeez. The <laughs> guy started pointing his gun at me. I didn't do anything. I just started running. <laughs> Ah, oh, hearts in my mouth there, that pal was going to get shot. Hey, look at all this stuff. Yeah, but you didn't get any fucking vegetables, did you? Did you pav? Did you pav all over? We've got some weapon parts, which is good though, because that means that we should, should be in the prime operative there. Be able to, actually, you go to sleep. Hey, you're sorted. I'm getting tired, you're very tired. You. Cigarettes and tobacco are presently used in Pogron as currency. Nonetheless, the city is running short on them. What will happen if they run out completely? And all these smokers will finally have to fucking quit. Ooh, we finally got two food. That's good. Fat boy here will be happy at least. Alrighty, let us... Drop another fertilizer in there for some food. Alrighty, and we need to upgrade this. Can we? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Make an advanced workshop. You, my dear, can come down here and make us the gun that we need. Unfortunately, our moonshine still has kind of been ignored because we've not had water. Right, you make our gun. That way we can at least protect ourselves. So that's good. We've got all the weapon parts we need. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice. Holy shit, we've got lots of stuff. Heat lamp is what we need. Oh, it only requires four of them. Ah, okay. L lots of things will require four of them. What is this? Reinforced doors. Alright, okay. But we need to board up all the holes. And we've still got some holes to board up. An alcohol distiller distills moonshine into pure alcohol. Hmm, this is all interesting. 
Herb Garden, Herb Workshop, Moonshine Distiller, Alcohol Distiller, The Metal Workshop, some filters. We want the heat lamp anyway. Because that's what's going to upgrade this so we can actually start getting vegetables. And vegetables are going to be the main thing for getting some decent food. I think I need a thermal regulator or whatever it is to fix this. Or not to fix it, but to upgrade it. She's very hungry and tired. Are you, Pavel? Are you still tired? Like Katia, see if you can upgrade this in. Uh, oh, we nearly can. We just need more components, more efficient stove. And we can save fuel. And saving fuel is a good thing to do. Okay, we need some more components and some more wood until we can upgrade that. Okay, that's good to know. But we've got the other thing, so that's helpful. I think we need to get ourselves some... Oh, that's fully upgraded now. Okay. Yeah, we need to get ourselves some filters. So that you can make us some food. Um, make us two filters. Right, we need... Oh, we can already make two food. Oh, that's good. Right, so make us two food so that the very hungry people can stop being very hungry. For example, Pav. God, I didn't realise that Pav was very hungry. I thought he was just hungry. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send Catchy up there to make... to eat some food. You go and collect some water for us, Bruno, because you're going to need it to get yourself some food. There we go. Sorted. Also, who's tired? You're tired, Katia, so go to bed. That's pretty much us until the next night. Unless we can wait on the... Yeah, we'll wait on the water so that we can get ourselves uh, some more food so that Bruno can actually eat. We're, uh, we're falling down on the like legitimate food supply though, which kind of sucks. Can we afford to make another one? Uh, no, we can't. We're missing three components. That sucks. We can build the place up though. We have the wood. Um, I would like to do that. Where is it? He's building up. Oh, up here. See, that's dumb. Like, if you're ever in a survival situation, you build up the ground floor areas first. So, you build up this hole, these windows, these windows, and this hole. Because people ain't going to climb up to the third story to get in your fucking house. Like, that is silly. That is a waste. At least until the rest of these are done. It's good for a heat perspective, yes. Like, it's an intelligent thing to do in order to get warmth. But, uh, just for the sake of, like, building it up, like, you're better off with these ones. Oh, okay, so we're a bit more boarded up now, I suppose. I suppose I can stop complaining about Pavel being stupid instead of building up the ground floor stuff. So we're slowly but surely getting there. What do... Families torn apart by war. We can manage to keep it warm in here. Um, anyone else sleepy? Are you sleepy? No, nah, you're just very hungry. You're hungry, you're hungry and tired, but you're sleeping and you're just very hungry. But you can cook as soon as this is done. Why is my mouse a loading screen? Ah, there we go. You can cook as soon as this is done. There you go. So now you can cook yourself something. We don't want to cook too much of just the regular food. Because it's a bit of a waste. Alright, now I've rested. Great, everyone's rested. And we'll just about finish off the day. Anyway, at that though, I'm going to call it an episode. I'm just going to pause it now so I can leave before it stops. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I've been Cedro, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.